Yo guys, welcome to another awesome YouTube tutorial where we kill it, we kill it. This is your boy Vicky Melody and we we are the owners of Playboy Sound, a production company where we kill everything killable. So let's get started. I want to show you how I made this um, awesome Afro beat. So let's let's just check it out and see how it sounds. Then I'll now break down how I'll now show you a breakdown on how I made the stuffs and um, maybe some the plugins I used to make some sounds and um, the effects I use on the mixer channel. So let's just hear the beat and enjoy it a little bit before we go. Let's go. <music> My first of all, we're going to be hearing some clicks because I actually had to. I don't know, I'm using this screen recorder called Bandicam and um, it kind of refuses me to record directly from my sound card. So I have to be recording from my um, primary and uh, whatever it's called player. And it gives you this kind of um, glitching sound because I have to. But I, I guess it will, it will work with something. I just had to do it so I will, will get this tutorial out. But if you have, if you know a better software, I can use to record my screen and give a better output. You guys should just tell me so that you save my life because I'm I'm tired of using this same um, screen recorder. Cause it. So, but yeah, yes, so I, I, I'm using two screens. So, but I'm recording just my PC screen so you can see my extend the screen. So I'm, I'm going to drag in all the windows back to my PC screen so you'll be able to see everything that I'm seeing. So this guy has to come down. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so this is the window right here. So the first thing I did was um, this guy. He's, he's just an Afro shaker. I gives you that kind of bounce so and I was using actually two shakers normally I use one but sometimes inspiration would, in the the inspiration will just come to you in a wild way and you do some things that you don't normally do so I, I was using two shakers and I panned one to the left a little bit to the left and panned the other one a little bit to the right to give me one kind of extra groove now this is afro beat most of our the 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 main stuff that makes your afro beat pop are your percussions your your shakers your hi hats your your congas, your kick, your snare, your rim shot. So those are the major instruments. So these are the two shakers I was using. I was using this this guy. So the both of them combined, we have this sound. And I, I sent it to the mixer channel. This is the channel here. And I, I'm just having a compressor. This is my favorite compressor, Far Filter. Their EQ is perfect, and I love their EQ. They're perfect. Everything about Far Filter, I love it. So I'm using this compressor to compress. Since I'm having two sounds, so one has to be picking over the others. I just use it to, you know, give you one kind of almost like a level sounding stuff. So when one sound, when one sound goes over the, the other one. You see the compressor bringing down the volume a little bit to even up, to make it a little bit even. So I'm using just um, an EQ to cut off everything that is in in the low frequency. So naturally, to sound like this, without any, if I bypass all the inserts, all the effects I've added, this high sound. And you could hear some low rumbles in the, in the shaker. And that alone can spoil your mix because when you start adding instruments that occupy that frequency range, you're going to have a lot of muddy sound and the mix won't come out pretty well. 
So I like to treat my sound as, as I'm adding instruments, I treat them immediately so that I'll be getting that good sound. Some people prefer to mix later, but I think it's, it's more professional and easier to mix as you're making your sound to, so you get the sound you need and you know the next sound to add. So from there, uh, and I now added this guy. That's that's a rim shot. It's a rim shot. There's this guy. Yeah, that's a rim shot. And I sent it to the mixer channel five. And this is how it sounds on its own. Now I added an EQ to remove most of the lows. Then I added this guy, a transient processor. This is very powerful because you know the transients, you know what the, what transients means? The like the first initial sound and the tail. Let me show you something. Like this here is like the first sound that comes when when the sound hits. This is the transient, then the tail. So what I'm doing is I'm returning this this peak here, the first sound that comes, like bah, then I'm almost like ignoring this tail. This although you won't hear it so much, but I don't need that tail in the mix because just that little tail can occupy maybe a frequency range in the vocal or something, and there will be a clash in the mix. So I'm always considering the mix when I'm making my instrumental. So this transient processor, I added the attack. The first thing you hear. I increase the attack so that once that first look at this um, peaks here. Whenever that that um, dream shot hits, bah, you know I hear the sound. Then it, it kills every other thing. I reduce the release. If I should take it down so much, you see there will be so much. Once the attack comes, it takes down everything again. So, but I just just learn how to. If you want me to make a separate tutorial about this guy, I can make it. But for the sake of this one, I don't want it to be that long. So this is. A transient processor then the next thing I'm adding is effector I'm using a distortion this this sound is giving it that greedy kind of sound making it like saturated let me bypass this guy and show you it's giving it a, li a little body and aggression in this stuff because your 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 rim shot needs to be hitting you know it needs to be knocking them in the head so that they will you know, everybody wants to dance. We eat too much, too much cassava and gare here. So everybody wants to dance it off. <laughs> so let's continue. That's. Now the the next sound that came to my head was a tom. A tom. This guy. Now the sound has to come to your head sound has to come to your head because you don't just copy someone's sound you must be someone who knows how to make sound in your head then you use your DAW to print out the sound that is playing in your head you must be creative in the mind so this um, tone I wanted it to be you know driving the, you, you just drive your groove the way you want people to hear it understand so the next thing I did yeah my signature my signature please if you are enjoying this tutorial, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe and um, like. You can turn on the notification button so that anytime I make a, a post, you know, you understand. So I have to I actually have two Instagram um, handles. I have the Playboy Sound, which is our production Instagram page, then my personal, which is Vicky Melody. So in that one, I'll put the description. I'll put the names in the description in case you want to follow us up and maybe purchase your beats or do anything with us you can just connect so my the next thing i added was this guy Damba. Playboy. Now those are those are our signatures so without wasting time i added this this guy from Purity. So 
that's actually the one, once you just load up your this is the first sound that comes, that piano sound. I just played it and I loved it and I left it that way. So there's no rule. Sometimes you just bring up sound and they give you what you want. You just use, use them straight ahead without wasting any time. So, and I'm sending it to Mixer Channel 9. And um, what I did was just a little EQ, cutting off the lows, then reverb to give you um, atmosphere, to give you room. Understand? So. I did this string instrument from, I think it's from Nexus. So let me be a little bit faster because I don't want this video to be so long and you know the next stop I had there well, I think is a synth. That's a synth from I use purity in this in this particular project. I was just going for purity because I don't want it to be fast and to lay down the stuff that were, that were coming to my head. I didn't want it to die off, so I was loading more of purity. So I still don't know why I was using purity because I have a lot of PSTs that I use, but it doesn't matter. The sound is what matters. So I used this guy, I sent it to the channel 12 and I panned it to the left because once you start adding more instruments, you, you now have to, you start to consider the pan. Because everything cannot be centered in the middle. So I, was, I just started panning stuff. So I, this is the first guy I panned to the left. So that there will be more room. It gives you that stereo feel. So I didn't even add any, any stuff in the channel on the mixer. So which other guy? Okay, now this. After the first four bars, there was this sound. This kalimba sound. I added. This guy. So, with all these guys, we've added. Then the bass. I love I just use the simple bass and and I, 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 I used purity again for the bass which I rarely do. I don't just know I was just in the purity mode in this particular song. But the sound was good, so I just went for it. So I used this under the bass guitar I used this sound. about the intro so I these are audio sometimes I, I make my rules sometimes I used I use them um, some rules that some to make your work faster sometimes you use samples so this row sample here I have I had to use it to save time and um, this riser so this is how the intro sounds the whole of the intro <laughs> In the kick, I just I just used a high pass. Sorry, what am I saying? A low pass, or you call it a high cut. I was removing the high frequency because it's not actually needed in the kick. And then also the transient processor, and now you can see that I reduced the release so that once the kick hits, 
he kills the, the tail of anything that comes later so that i just hear the punch so i wanted that punch that's why i'm using this guy that's all i just needed so he, let me play the kick alone then i'll, I'll bring in all the stuff so you hear the difference And here, so much if you have the music, the ear for stuff, I, I believe most of you do, you, you hear the difference. So, that is that for that guy. Now, the next stops, I, I, I was not adding, you know, feels like after maybe after four bars, after eight bars, I'll add some feels, you know, too. So, the song, the song won't be like straight, those feels give dynamics like. If if the if the listener is, try, is trying to get bored, you know, wake him up with the fuse. You understand? So that there will be no dull moment in your stuff, no sleeping. So those are what those are the things I was adding around here. So. So I brought in another sound. This sound is this purity. Ocarina, this is Ocarina sound. I just brought it and played something. At the cross part, at the cross part, what I just did, I added a different sound. Now, when I was getting to the chorus, I had to break it so that, okay, now digest the verses you've heard. Now let's switch it up to the chorus. That's why sometimes you just be creative. Sometimes you add breaks. Sometimes you add fills. Depends on what. And I added one more sound. This is a synth, definitely, to make the chorus sound a little bit different. <laughs> Yeah, that's the sound I added, and I think that's for massive. It's for massive, yup. Come on, guy. Yeah, massive. What's this sound called again? Can't even remember the sound I loaded for this guy. So, but for massive is a synth. Massive has a lot of synth. That's why sometimes if I want to get a synth sound, I just go to massive. They have a lot of sound actually. So and. I sent it to 14 and I compressed, then did some EQing, cut up the lows, then reduced a little bit of the highs because it was too bright and it was competing with my hi hat, my shaker. So this is without. Like it's a little bit fuller and you know blends in with every other guy there so which other sound did i add that was pretty it because now the major stuff about this is almost 20 minutes man i didn't want it to be that long but i guess you well, you you're picking up something from here there's no other stuff i added the list of there was just about patterning arrangement arrangement is key how you arrange sometimes you take off sound sometimes you introduce a new sound so that your song won't be straight so I used just one kind of one bass because I love the bass sound and I didn't want to add. Sometimes I would play a different bass line in, in the verse or in the hook or anywhere, but I just wanted it to be this way. There's no rule. So there's this last sound I added at the, at the outro of the song to actually give you one kind of mood at the outro. So it, it's um, a choir kind of song, sound. <laughs> Understand to give me more kind of atmosphere at the end. So now sometimes 
time she do music with psychology. I was I just played the song at that place would give me all kind of emotional feel and make the person listening and be like, Oh my god, oh my god, I have to play the song again and place it back again. So I'm using that thing to trap you back. I hope it works though. So but that's just it. That's just it. So guys, I'll be making more tutorials then any kind of stuff you want me to do, just you know comment, like, share so that the videos this most of my videos will get seen easily so that channel will grow in the sense so it encourage me to do more stuff in-depth stuff and there so feel free to hit me up on instagram facebook facebook yeah i have issues with facebook double instagram twitter everywhere so that we'll connect in case you have your mixes like you have stuff that you want to do you, you, you have you're looking for a producer you just hit me up too, so we'll work together. So that's a pizza.